Hello, I'm the CNC Repairman, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the different types of tool release pistons, how they engage with the spindle, how to rebuild them, how to troubleshoot them, and how they work. Let's get started. This is your typical tool release piston here, as well as here and here. Here's one torn apart. Originally, when they built plastic machines, or small VF zeros, they used a round tool release piston. This piston couldn't produce enough drawbar force to unclamp the drawbar, and they moved to a square or rectangle style tool release piston here. For machines that have a larger drawbar force, they move to a larger rectangle tool release piston. So depending on what size of machine you have and what spindle, you may have a square or a more rectangle. If you have a very old machine, you'll have one of these. This is a small tool release piston for mini mills and for tool room mills. There's really no difference in how they work. They're just a little bit different in size. This is a super speed machine tool release piston, and I don't have a 50 taper here, but this is the majority of the pistons. All the pistons work the same way, and that air pressure gets put into this square piston, and the piston pushes forward to unclamp the drawbar. There are not a lot of parts to a TRP, or a tool release piston. This here is the cylinder, and this is the piston. This is the return spring, and then this is the piston driver inside of it, and on the end of it is a hex bolt that contacts the drawbar. Usually, the air and oil and all the mist in the air, and if you have water in your air system, gets inside this piston. Inside of here is usually quite dirty. And if this O-ring fails or gets sticky, the tool release piston can have problems pushing down and returning up freely. To assemble, or to disassemble one of these, start by putting wire ties or putting this in a drill press and depressing this, and then releasing the snap ring on the top of this here. On the oldest style tool release pistons over here, the hex head inside of this is smaller and it's a right hand thread. On the newer styles, they're a left hand thread. This is a stainless steel replacement piston shaft here, and it's a left hand threaded bolt. That way it would help it from getting unthreaded if the drawbar ever contacted the spindle while it was running. If you need a new O-ring, snap rings, seal, or hex head, CNC Replacement Parts offers rebuild kits for all three size tool release pistons. You can see them over here. We have a new shaft, we have the three different size O-rings, as well as the hex head, new snap rings, and O-rings. This makes it relatively easy to repair your tool release piston. Rebuilding the tool release piston with a rebuild kit is a good idea if you suspect your machine is old and has been run hard. The majority of the time, the problem is this quick exhaust valve, the pre-charge valve, which is around the back, or this main clamp, unclamp valve. The way the tool release piston works is when you press the tool release button, a small amount of air pressure is first applied through the pre-charge solenoid through this one-way valve to depress the tool release piston to contact the top of the spindle. So this shaft, when the pre-charge is applied, would contact the top of the spindle, and then the large valve is turned on, which does the unclamping. That way you don't hear a banging or a popping against the drawbar. If you're having problems with your tool release piston, if it's banging, if it's being sticky, or not working correctly all the time, I would recommend to replace the main clamp unclamp valve and also the quick exhaust valve. CNC Replacement Parts offers a rebuild kit that comes with the fitting and the quick exhaust valve. You can also just purchase a rebuild kit for the quick exhaust valve, but if your machine is old and these are both original, I would replace them both. It's far easier, from my experience in the field, to unthread this and replace the entire assembly than it is to try to reuse the fittings. This will fit right in here and you'll hook up the pre-charge valve here. Let's talk about super speed machines. The way that the super speed tool release piston works is very different. It also is very different the way it clamps and unclamps. Because a super speed machine is in line, the tool release piston has a through hole and it sits above the spindle right here and then declamps the drawbar. The drawbar in this machine has a drawbar ring that's connected through drawbar bolts. This is what the ring looks like and the bolts go inside of the spindle and clamp and unclamp the drawbar. This is the solenoid pack that runs it. 
air pressure is applied all the time to the top and it runs through these two valves because this piston is much larger. This here is the precharge valve and this is the precharge regulator. The precharge works the same way on the inline as it does on the belt drive. When the precharge valve is turned on through the regulator, the piston slowly moves down and contacts the drawbar ring. Then the full air pressure is applied to unclamp it through these valves, through these quick exhaust valves. This system on old machines wears out. Oil and water get inside the airline and these valves become sticky as well as these quick exhaust valves. CNC Replacement Parts offers a rebuild kit for new quick exhaust valves, regulator, and some of the fittings, or they offer a pre-built assembly, which is faster to install. You can also purchase new drawbar bolts and a drawbar ring. There's another video about how to replace the drawbar ring on a spindle if that's broken.